Hello, water signs. Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm just going to do a real quick reading for you guys. Uh, let's say a quick blessing. We'll find out what you guys have going on. Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. Alrighty, for our water signs, let's start off with Scorpio. Happy birthday, Scorpio. Let's see how you guys are doing. Hmm. I have the five of swords on one side and the judgment on the other side. This could be someone who's concerned about what other people are saying about them. Five of swords can be the energy of gossip and judgment can be the energy of be feeling judged or judging a situation. Um, let's see here. Specific to this, I mean, they're both there on the bottom of the deck. Fine. Judgment in the reverse. Someone who feels like they've been misjudged or they've misjudged a situation. All right. Fair enough. Hold on, I'm going to put those back in. I have the devil in the reverse and I have the ten of cups. Oh. Um, this can be related to a love relationship or a marriage of some sort. Um, the devil in the reverse is somebody who wants to get back to things being good again. This is someone who wants to release any toxicity that they have developed between themselves and another person. The devil's the card of Capricorn, if that is of significance to anyone. Otherwise, the devil just indicates something, um, feelings or um, patterns or people or scenarios that we've chained ourselves to who we recognize as not being good. However, this feels, Scorpio, that you um, had committed yourself to some kind of opinion or... It could even be a fear of what other people are saying about you or saying about some scenario or situation. And uh, it feels like you don't want to do it anymore. You don't want to feel this way anymore. You want things to be better. You want to get back on track with something. And I have the Eight of Cups here, which is the energy of, and, and it comes out on a side here. There's someone who's really struggling to let go of some of the feelings that they've developed though. It's almost like um, you've been kind of, used to things being not so great um and so letting go of some of the things that were making you feel that way it has been difficult and i have the three of cups here which in in the upright position the three of cups can be about reconciliation or reunion uh let's get hold any more out of this one yeah uh i have the two of cups in the reverse and the three of wands. Okay. Maybe one more. Hold on. Ah, fair enough. All right. So, um, it's possible you've left a relationship or a situation actually behind, um, or you're contemplating doing so. Something is like irritating me. <laughs> I don't know. It's like poking me. Um, it's possible you've let something go or walked away from something with this devil in the reverse, maybe walked away from another person or another situation or um, even a feeling or an opinion about something and you or, or you're in the midst of making a decision to do so um, in lieu of reconciling with possibly someone else. Because with this two of cups in the reverse, that means someone has reconciled themselves to the idea that a partnership has ended. And with the three of wands, that's the minor arcana of the magician for me as a reader and that is someone who is trying to manifest something new and better for their future and the two of wands is about partnership it's about seeking partnership it's about um wanting to find the right person or the right situation and this is someone who i feel like you believe that you have a lot to offer to another person which is good um, maybe you have been continually matched with situations and people who didn't recognize how wonderful you were or they didn't recognize your heart or you felt like you were constantly having to explain who you were to this person or um maybe something just wasn't the best fit and it feels like you are either letting go of it currently or you have recently let go of it in lieu of something healthier for yourself emotionally. Now, let's get, um, let's use this star power tarot to clarify real quick, like for Scorpio here. 
Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Um, this is almost like a love or career kind of um, reading, or this can be choosing between two. Um, oh, good. You've got the world there. This can be choosing between two um, scenarios. And look, I got the Ten of Cups there again that tried to come out as well. Um, good. And a lot of healing that is needed for some situation within you. Um, and there's the devil again. Okay. Um, there it is. Okay. Anything else? No, no, no. I think we're going to stop there. Um, so basically what I have here is um, I have someone who's trying to make a decision. There's like div a, div a divergent pathway here in front of someone. Um, should I go this route? Should I go that route? Um, do I want to stick around for more of the same or do I want to move forward? This person could be making a choice as we speak between two different people or two different um, situations. With the Eight of Pentacles, this can be very much related to your career or your work life. You may be trying to choose between two job offers or two companies or something like that. With this devil in the upright position, again, the card of Capricorn, that's the second time out for that. That's an important energy for you. When I get repeated cards like that, that's of significance. Um, this is someone who's very well aware of what the problems actually are. Um, this is someone who may have had a recently, recently had an eye-opening experience about the scenario that they're in right now, Scorpio. And I see the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, both of them in the reverse up here. And that means to me that it was a situation that there was no, you didn't see the growth that you needed to see. And honestly, it was kind of a turn off in the end, or this person kind of turned you off in some way in the end. The Ace of Wands in the reverse, the Pentacles in the reverse, there's an energy of people who just can't get together. They can't, they, it won't get off the ground. You're not seeing like any sexual compatibility or chemistry if it's in your love life. If it's in your career, there's just no creative growth or development and you don't have a team that you want to work with here. Um, with And it feels like you're really trying to manifest a much happier life for yourself because this Ten of Cups came out here twice. Ten of Cups can be an energy of marriage. It can be the energy. It's like it's like the epitome of luxury when it comes to love, basically. It's finding um, a soulmate relationship coming towards you. It's the energy of marriage again. Um, it can be a blended family coming together. And again, we have this Three of Cups energy, which is reconciliation energy reunion energy um the only thing is because you are either in the process of letting a partnership go here um, and again doesn't have to be a romantic partnership but it might be because you're in the process of this and because there's been a lot of toxicity here with this devil card out twice you have the nine of wands that's come out which is that wounded warrior energy right this person has quite a bit of baggage that they carry with them they've had um I just heard the words hideous past. That's crazy. I'm um, not crazy. It's, um, I just, a hideous past. I don't know what that would mean. Um, our past is just our past. Don't judge yourself so harshly. You have that judgment in the reverse. Um, of all the people that seem like they're judging you so harshly, I feel like you're your worst critic here, Scorpio. Um, and with that devil coming out there twice, it feels like a repeated pattern that you've noticed in your life that you're maybe you're saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And it may be this scenario that you're, exiting right now was one of those things where you thought this time it was going to be different. You thought this time it was going to be better. You thought this time it was going to be something or someone you could grow into. And you thought it might be your forever person or your forever situation. And now it's looking like it's not. And because of that, there's a little bit of jadedness that comes with that nine of wands because that's that wounded warrior energy, right? They've been burned in the past. So why not put up some walls and boundaries, right? And I think that it has a lot to do with family situations or something like that from the past um, and also past relationships. Uh, there's a lot of bad memories 
that have been triggered within whatever this thing is that you're removing yourself from or trying to make a decision to remove yourself from. However, there is the sun card that comes out on its side here, which is the card of Leo, but it's an energy of needing to heal oneself and needing to heal a situation until you're ready for true partnership. Um, it feels like that true partnership may come towards you, maybe in Leo season, um, just to a possible guest, this person that's coming towards you may be a Leo or this person that is um, either you're manifesting them or they are manifesting you probably both with that two of wands energy. Um, whatever this is, this partnership that's coming towards you has the potential to be very healing. And there's a potential for a lot of growth here that you haven't experienced in the past, all right? So verdict's still out here, but just know that you may be prone to have your walls up um, a little high and a little deep, right? Um, and so do cut people some slack, these people that um, want to come into your life. If they are coming towards you in a healthy way, just don't, um, don't look back so much at this toxicity of whatever this devil energy was. All right, Scorpio, that was your reading for the week. Thank you so much for letting me read for you. And next up, we are going to read for Pisces. I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, let's see here, which deck are we going to use for you guys? Let's, let's use this Deviant Moon Tarot for Pisces over here. Just saw 11 on the clock, exactly. Ooh. Pisces, I have got the nine of wands out for you guys too. Again, with the wounded warrior card. So maybe this is a through line for our um, water signs this week. Uh, Pisces, this is someone who's feeling, um, well, this little guy, just take a gander. Um, real, real isolated feeling, right? This is someone who they feel like their feelings have been hurt. I have the Six of Cups on its side. Six of Cups is um, one of our soulmate cards in the deck. It indicates a past life love or someone that you've grown up with or someone you had intended to grow old with. You may be having issues with a significant partner this week if you're partnered on um, Pisces. Um, this can be the energy of someone feeling badly about something that's happened within the dynamics of a soulmate relationship. Oh, snap. We got the five of cups. That's a real energy of regret. Um, this is somebody who's regretting things that they've done, things that they've said, and someone who feels like something's unfixable. I don't know if that's you or if that's someone near you, Pisces. This is someone who feels like they have um, damaged something so much that they can't come back from it. I have the six of wands here, which is, hold on. It's good, it's in the upright position. There is that, that page of wands on its side. Okay, so this person's not without hope. And this is something I was noticing about this um, nine of wands earlier. Like this person still has this, this ace of wands right here burning. This person still has some glimmer of hope or some glimmer of, um, just let's just say hope in some way. Um, this six of wands, this is someone who feels like they could maybe shift this dynamic in some way if they were to simply send or receive, depending upon which side of the story you're in, on here, um, some kind of message. This page of wands, hold on. Knight of Swords. This is someone who wants to take quick action. They want things to be settled and fixed as quickly as possible. I have the Ace of Cups on its side here. Um, if you are not in a partner relationship, um, it feels like you 
may be attracting some new love into your life in the new near future. I don't know if it's here yet because there, when I have the Ace of Cups that comes out on this side, this is someone who is just now starting to get back on track with who they are, how they feel about themselves, and before they can even start to entertain the idea of allowing someone else into their lives. Now, I do I need any more from this one? Apparently. So we have the world that comes out on its side there. And I have the Eight of Pentacles out for you guys too. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have the Eight of Pentacles that comes out with the Hierophant in the reverse and the world card on its side. I feel like, so the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, um, but when we have it in the, it's also a card of commitment, marriage, traditional values, that sort of thing. Whenever I have that card in the reverse, it feels like, especially with this Eight of Pentacles and this World card on its side, this is somebody who is questioning a commitment. They've questioned, they're questioning all the work they've put in, all the effort. They're questioning whether or not like it's time to just end this thing once and for all. It feels like someone's kind of already come to this conclusion. Um, that page of wands is someone who, they want to send another, a message to someone. That's what it is. Okay. Hold on. This, this is going to, this is slowly starting to come into focus for me here. It's a little bit convoluted. What I'm getting here, and this is rather specific, I have to be honest with you here, Pisces. Um, it feels like someone who, um, they may have recently, okay, this is someone who wants to reach out to you or you to them. They may feel like very drawn to you in some way. You may know who this person is. Um, they may feel like they have destroyed something beyond all repair. But this person, um, they want to let you know or you want to let this other person know that things have changed. Um, this person may be reaching out to you while they are at work. Or you may, you know, just just take it as it resonates. Flip flop the energies if you want. Um, and it feels like they want to tell someone about an ending of a commitment. This could be in love for sure with that uh, Six of Cups energy there. Or this can be related to career as well with this Eight of Pentacles here. But this world card is a closing of a cycle. It's an ending of um, more than a chapter. It's like getting ready to start the next phase of one's life and being in a hurry to get something done. Being in a hurry to send this message because I have that Knight of Swords right under this Page of Wands. But there's a little bit of a fearful energy of will this person accept this uh, message? Will this... Because the Page of Wands, it, they're, they're, pages are messengers, right? Um, but they, the Page of Wands can be a little bit inflammatory or they can say things that get them into trouble. Um, the Page of Wands can be pretty curious or flirtatious and they can instigate drama if they don't um, really mind the things, the messages that they send. Um... I think that you or this other person doesn't want to do that. They want to do things the right way. There's this energy of friends and family being around this person with this six of wands. I have the nine of swords in the reverse. This person has been dealing with an awful lot of anxiety surrounding whatever this is that they want to speak about. Um, whatever this Hierophant in the reverse energy is, whatever this Five of Cups energy is, this person, oh, and I've got the tower on its side. That's what it is. Um, we've had some kind of major crumbling or toppling um, in this person's life, and they want to um, talk to someone about it. I have the Hermit in the reverse. That's the card of Virgo. Um, but this is someone who's um, 
their thought process had been fairly muddied for a while and they were rather disconnected from their intuition for a while. They were letting other people dictate um, their feelings about someone or something and it feels like they may have done things that they feel caused irreparable damage in some way. They were allowing other people's opinions to lead their, them in this situation. They may feel like they have either lost out, they feel like they've lost out on some kind of soulmate relationship here. And now they want to reach back out to this person. Somebody has a lot of boundaries up with that nine of wands now though. I have the sun in the reverse for you guys as well. And I have the six of wands out again. This is someone who is not sure that they're gonna be able to fix this situation. They're not sure that they're going to be successful at all. They are not sure that anyone is going to allow them back towards them after everything that's happened here. Um, But I've got the lovers out. Heck yes, I do. All right. And I have the four of cups. Mm. All right, Pisces. There's a lot of self-isolation that's been happening here for either you or for whoever's on the flip side of this coin. Um, the four of cups, it has a very similar energy to the hermit in the reverse. This is somebody who... Um, isn't talking to other people about what they've been experiencing. What they've been experiencing is some kind of dissolution here with this tower in, on its side and with this nine of swords. This has been a real high anxiety situation for someone. That hierophant in the reverse can again be an ending of a marriage or some kind of major commitment. It's about to change their life for forever, it looks like. Um, this person recognizes that they have like kind of a diverging pathway ahead of them. The lovers is a card of choice. It's about having a choice in front of you and the choice that you make is influential in this person's life. Okay. And I think this person understands the gravity of this. And I don't know what's happened, but I get the impression that someone has done something or said something either to whoever's on the other side of this soulmate relationship or to you. And so they're fearful that they won't be accepted in some way. There's some kind of um, relationship that's ended here. Okay. Eight of wands in the reverse. They haven't told anyone. Somebody hasn't told anyone. Um, but this somebody that wants to come towards you or you towards them has some pretty big feelings. Um, this Ten of Cups energy was present in the Scorpio reading I just did as well. Um, as was the Sun in the reverse, which denotes a need for healing. That's the card of Leo. Um, this Eight of Wands in the reverse is like very restricted communication, as is the Four of Cups. Um, that's, again, the card of it's an energy of isolation and the eight of wands should be fast moving direct communication but this person has and this person has a lot to say but for some reason they haven't been able to either get the words out or they haven't been able to communicate to you or you to them there may have been some kind of barriers in some way maybe um I'm not seeing like digitally blocked communication. I just see someone who's not talking really to anyone, but specifically not to this other person. Um, this person, whenever they do reach out to you or you to them, there's this 10 of cups energy where it's like the happiest feeling anyone could ever feel. And so if, if it's, if you're feeling motivated to reach out to someone who's really been on your mind, but you're very afraid that they are not going to accept you back into their life in some way or accept some kind of communication from you, I wouldn't feel that way at all, Pisces. I um, I think that they would just be overjoyed to hear from you in some way. I have this Knight of Cups here on the bottom, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, someone who extends their heart to another person and will be well received. And if this is the other person who's feeling this way about you where they are just afraid that your walls are a little bit too thick right now, um, I think that if they were to message you, you would be really happy to hear from this person. Um, they're At the very least, they're contemplating this. And while they're at work every day, they're thinking very heavily about you. You're always on this person's mind or um, vice versa. 
and I think this person has a lot to say about things they've been through in the recent past. Um, I don't know why they have fixated on you, but because I have the lovers and the six of cups out there, it's some kind of soulmate dynamic. I think that you both know it or you've always had some kind of an inkling. Um, and so there's someone who's contemplating sending a message, someone with that knight of swords who is ready to take action. But with that eight of wands, there has been a delay to this communication. And I'm not sure what the holdup has been. What the world card and that hierophant out there, this person's tying up a lot of loose ends. And look at that. We've got the, um, eight of wands right there again in the upright position now on top of this vice versa it was just hanging out over here on the top um that means that it feels like that communication's been unblocked good job all right pisces that was your reading for this week it feels really good i think that um somebody here is going to be messaging somebody else maybe maybe thursday friday of next week um at the earliest it seems but this is like a shifting of energy it feels like good job all right pisces that was your reading thank you for letting me read for you and last of our water signs we have cancer i'm going to use this um night sun tarot for cancer i have the wheel of fortune on this side and i have the page of wands on this side you guys have the page of wands too all right, so the Wheel of Fortune can be uh, good fortune going in your favor. Um, it's a card of Sagittarius. It's being back in the flow. The Page of Wands can be a flirtatious message. It can be a message of curiosity. Um, it can be uh, something that starts a new exciting time in your life. Let's see. Mm. Now it's in the reverse, though. And when that uh, page of wands comes out in the reverse, this is someone who is a little bit fearful of what the future holds when it comes with that uh, wheel of fortune. This is someone who feels like they may have made some mistakes that could end up becoming bigger problems. I have the star in the reverse. That's the card of Aquarius. Um, but when we have the star in the reverse, it can be an energy of hopelessness. Um, someone who feels like they've lost it all or that they've really stepped off their path. This is somebody who may be going through a dark night of the soul or hitting a rock bottom in some way. It's an energy of feeling like there's not a lot of goodness in their lives. Like every day they wake up and it's high anxiety, it's high stress, it's putting out fires all day long, it's, um, uh, it's kind of like not being able to keep up with the drama and kind of heartache as well. I have the Ace of Swords that comes out on its side. Um, this is someone who puts, who sacrifices their needs for other people's and not in the healthiest of ways. I'm so sorry to tell you. I don't know if this is your energy or someone near you. Can be an Aquarius, possibly um, Cancer. But with the Ace of Swords coming out on its side, specific to this Night Sun Tarot, there's kind of an energy of martyrdom here. This is something, that's what I mean about it not being necessarily healthy. This is somebody who actually um, can create drama in their own lives so they don't have to... Um, look at themselves or this person may be always trying to help other people with their their lives and they just just to avoid having to really look hard at their own um it's rather distorted And I have the high priestess that comes out on its side. This is someone who's ignoring their gut instincts. This is someone who is um, it's like this person's just ignoring their intuition and they're not following directions and they're not taking things seriously and they're not they're not paying attention. This is someone who is focused on the wrong things, it seems. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, I got the five of swords in the reverse. Things are starting to stack up for this person though. They're starting to feel the weight of other people's opinions. Um, oh no. Um, sometimes we go through things like this though, right, Cancer? So if this is not for you, then yay. And if it is for you, you know, we just get through it, right? But this five of swords in the reverse can be the energy of gossip. It can be the energy of bullying. It can be the energy of defeat. Um, it can be the energy of win at all costs. I have the emperor here on the bottom of the deck. That's the card of Aries. Um, when the emperor is in the reverse, first of all, the em emperor is supposed to be in charge of the empire, right? The emperor is the one who has the most responsibility. These are our mothers, our fathers, our bosses, our CEOs, um, the people who are supposed to be be taking care of their subjects, right? When they're in the reverse, this is someone who has given up, especially with that star in the reverse. This is someone who has either let their temper get the better of them or their need to control get the better of them. And it's like they've been, again, focusing on the wrong things. Um, this person may have let some of their habits, their addictions, or their tendencies take control. And now um, things are starting to catch up to them. We have an energy of either mistrust or um, untruths with that Ace of Swords in the reverse. It can also, with this High Priestess, just be a general energy of unclarity or um, distortion. Remember I said distortion? Um, and with this Five of Swords in the reverse, it's kind of a gaslighty kind of feeling. <sighs> And I've got the three of wands here. This is somebody who says something is going to have to change and it's going to have to change quickly. Yeah, because we have the tower on its side. There's about to be a big problem here. There's about to be a fall apart here. There's, um, it's this person, whoever I'm reading for, you can tell no matter what character you play in this story or scenario, um, you can tell that something is about to fall apart. And here's the thing, Cancer, this High Priestess energy, it's the card of Pisces, but it represents, especially when it's got this tower right here, it's not that you don't have a healthy intuition. It's not that you are not psychically developed or highly intuitive. It's the fact that you've been ignoring it. That's the worst. Um, it's, you know, ignoring the red flags is where they get you. It's where they get you. You see down here in this cage, I was drawn to this little red heart that's down there. Is it a heart? Is it a bird? It's so dark. I can't tell. These are such beautiful cards. Um, it's the Night Sun Tarot. I forget. Lestrani, maybe? Something like that. Um, I think so. Um, look it up. Night Sun Tarot. Um, this this little red thing down here, this is somebody that's ignoring this and they're focusing on something else instead. This is someone whose judgment has been clouded enough and they know it. That's the problem. This is not something that's just sneaking up on this person. Let's use um, this star power tarot to clarify for you guys. I have the king of wands in the reverse and I have the justice in the reverse. King of wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Um, justice is Libra. It can indicate divorce. It can indicate legal matters, courtroom scenarios. This can be someone who's made poor choices that have caught up with them. King of Wands in the reverse is somebody, you know, I've got the Emperor here, which is Aries also, um, and Divine Masculine as well. Um, but the King of Wands in the reverse is someone who makes impulsive choices. They don't think before they do things, and it gets them into a whole lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. This person didn't mean to do this, but it wasn't exactly accidental, and they didn't try to not do it or something, you know? It was like somebody was aware here of what they were getting themselves into or what the um, repercussions of their actions could lead to. All right, we'll just take out that justice in the reverse. With the five of pentacles in the reverse, this is someone who may be experiencing financial challenges in some way because of this situation. Where And also, whatever's happening here, other people are starting to not engage with this energy over here any longer. It's like 
people don't want to talk to this person anymore. They don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, there's been so much drama for this person that other they're starting to lose friends and they have family members who are starting to um, be frustrated. Hold on. I've got the world in the reverse. Um, here's the problem is that whatever has happened here, whatever this emperor in the reverse star in the reverse energy is, who it is, what it is, the world in the reverse is someone who's really struggling to move forward in their lives because they keep looking back at the past. They keep focusing on the wrong things. They keep trying to... Um, it's almost like the definition of insanity. Obviously, I'm not a medical doctor, right? Um, but it's like trying to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, exactly the same every day, but expecting things to get different, to be different, or for things to change, or for things to improve when you know that they can't. It's, um, yeah. And you've got Libra and Libra. Just incidentally, Libra season may have been particularly challenging for some of you. I know it was for a lot of folks. And if this is something that is going on in your life, don't judge yourself. Just get through it and do better next time. Learn and grow from it. Um, don't be hard on yourself. Just make the changes that are necessary so that um, these things don't happen again in the future. What's... Um, I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. This is someone who feels like they've stepped in some karma. We had that Wheel of Fortune out um, when I first split the deck. Wheel of Fortune is the card of Sagittarius. Um, but really, it does feel just like someone who is really struggling, um, either with the choices that they've made starting to stack up, you know, um, and sometimes that happens. Um, or... This is someone who just feels like everything is against them right now. It's pretty murky and muddy. I got to be honest with you, Cancer, but I have this Ace of Pentacles here, which is somebody, somebody steps in here and offers you something. There is something like a, a leg to stand on, like a, the first step up the ladder. There's like a rebuild here that happens with this Ace of Pentacles. And it's really important that if this opportunity comes towards you this week, that you take it. If it's a healthy offer that comes towards you, you take it. Um, because I don't think... Um, I don't think that it's going to be around forever. This is someone who's offering to give assistance, but only like there may be some strings attached in some way. I feel like you're saying, whatever, I'll take the help. I'll take the assistance. Just help me avoid whatever this tower is. Or this, this may be you offering to help someone else here too, Cancer. I have the Five of Cups in the reverse. This is exactly the card I was seeing in my head when I was talking about that um, emotional insanity. Um, I was thinking like, it's like the Five of Cups, um, but I don't think I have it out here. Um, which is somebody who is so upset about the things that have happened. They keep focusing on those things that have happened and they can't move forward because of that, because they keep focusing on the wrong things. They keep focusing on the past. And I've got the Four of Pentacles. This person feels like um, a lot of people's eyes are on them. They feel like they're running out of time, they're running out of money, and everybody's watching every single little thing that they do. And they feel like they can't help but fail in a situation. Man, this is dark. It's like this person feels like everything they've ever done wrong is kind of exposed to the world. And there's an energy of like a chill. And wanting to hide, you know, oneself with the four of pentacles. And it's like... All eyes on you, right? And like I was saying, with this Five of Swords in the reverse, somebody may feel like a lot of other people are saying things about them either behind their backs or just kind of like talking about them while they're not in the room or, or while they are in the room even. 
like just being the subject of conversation and being uncomfortable with it. But I have the Empress in the upright, which is very good. All right. And whatever, it goes right over here on top of this Ace of Pentacles that came out on its side. Whatever this offer is that's coming towards you, Cancer, it whatever it is, it's the opportunity for you to turn yourself back into the right direction. Um, this energy is the card of Virgo, but this is someone who wants to help a mother, who wants to help um, somebody with a business, somebody who um, has kind of allowed their empire to fall apart. This person wants to help you get back on track. And that's exactly what you want. And so whoever this is that's reaching out to you this week, Cancer, if you'll know it if this is a good offer for you to take. Take it. Take it. Whatever. Take the help. Whatever it is. Um, because whatever this is that you've been through, and it really does feel like something happened during Libra season. It has something to do with um, courtroom or um, legal stuff or a divorce. It's, it's some kind of major shakeup to your system. Um, whatever has happened, it's been really hard. It's been really difficult and it's left someone um, with a real <sighs> depression on their hands, among other things. And if that's you, Keep on fighting the good fight, man. I love you very much. Um, and if this is someone in your immediate energy or environment, they may have been a real pain in the ass. They may have um, made just like bad choice after bad choice after bad choice. And you have watched from afar like a slow motion bicycle accident. Um, you know how this has stacked up for this person. And I just encourage you to remember that no one is perfect. Everyone makes mistakes. And sometimes we have to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over and over again until we learn the right way to deal. And sometimes it takes a whole lifetime. Sometimes it takes a couple. Um, but cut yourself some slack. Cut this person some slack. They're only human. And if the shoe was on the other foot, you would want this person to cut you some slack too, right? Alrighty, much love to you guys. I will catch up with you soon. Uh, talk to you later.